Okay, so this is a battle against our change or something. I can't remember exactly what his name was, but it was on my stream, as I have already pointed out in the last video. This is all just going to be a series of battles from said stream. They all vary in quality, but they are all amazing, I guess you could say. Because that is how you're supposed to narrate your videos. You're supposed to make the audience excited about what's going to be happening. So yeah, he's got a team, Conkledor, Nine Tails, and a bunch of other stuff. And, um... I'm randomly hyper at 1 o'clock in the morning for no reason. As I move over to wipe the stuff off my screen from yelling and spitting. Yay. Um, so yeah, this is a battle against a guy whose end game name is Drifter. So he loves playing Mario Kart, holding down that R button, and going and drifting, and moving the analog stick back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to build up that charge and then going for the boost. So out comes a Conkledur and out comes a Metagross, who is very appreciative of having meted, met rather, this Conkledur. Meted, god. <laughs> it's like English is my first language or something. So gonna Meteor Mash this Conkledur and it's gonna be all like, BOOM! Get a crit. It's like, whoa, man, that Conkledur just got critted, and I was like, what? And out comes a Ninetales with the most original nickname ever, but instead of being Fire Fox, it's Fox Fire. So that's totally different. He's going to go for a, what, a Flare Blitz? Are you kidding me? That's just not right, man. What are you doing, son? So I'm going to get that Stealth Rock up because it is the best move in the game, as you all know. Metagross is crawling around trying to find out where it wants to stand. Should I stand a little to the left or a little to the right? And he just can't make a decision here. He is so indecisive, it's almost like he should have had an ability like that. But no, he gets heavy metal, woohoo. So out comes my slow bro. Get it off me, get it off me, get it off me, get it off me! And he is going to go for another flare blitz. I'm going to take that even better than my Aka Gross. And I am going to retaliate with various moves in my move pool. Most likely going to be the Scald, though, because that is the most logical move to go for at this point in the battle. As Ninetales is sitting there, looking at you, being all like, Oh yeah, you know that I'm a fox. And I'm like, well, I've got a freaking shell on my tail, but other than that, I can understand that you are a fox. So out comes an Exeggutor, as I Scald it. And it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does do a lot of damage because I got a crit, but it would have done more damage had I gone for Ice Beam, but I thought he might have stayed in. I don't know. Not much point in saving a Ninetales at that low of HP, especially when Stealth Rocks are up. So he Leaf Storms, and he is going to kill me because Leaf Storm is going to kill just about every Slowbro. Not all of them, but it will kill most of them. So, Exeggutor is going to be sitting there, waggling its leaves back and forth, pretending that it is from another country, and dancing a dance of a fig in a jig. And out comes my Pizzazz the Zapdos, because, apparently, spelling out Zap backwards, and then adding extra Z's and A, is a good nickname structure. So, going to go for the Heat Wave and activate this Ninetales Flash Fire, which is like, lol, what? Why don't you have Drought? But I am not one to question people's moves and move sets. So a plus two essentially flare blitz, I'm guessing he was banded, is not going to kill me because Zapdos is full of pizzazz. It likes to eat pizza and it also likes to do various other things that involve the letter P, of which most of them involve the word pigeon and um, I give up. So out comes the Ven Venusaur. Yes, Venusaur again. Venusaur looked like this before they decided to make a last minute design change at Game Freak because they were saying that, you know what, no kid is going to be dumb enough to believe that this thing evolved from Ivysaur. So they invented Execute to go along with it to make it so it made more sense, but it only has three heads instead of the six that Execute normally has. So, Game Freak goofed more than once in the first set of Pokemon games. So Zapdos is going to die to a Psyshock as I bring out my Infernape, which is nicknamed after my stupidity from one of my Infernapes back in the past. But it is not important because he is going to switch as I go for an overheat, I think. I'm not entirely sure. No, I got for Hidden Power because I wasn't sure if it was ice or grass or what, but it turns out to be ice because that kind of makes sense. So Suicune is going to take that like it's nothing. 
And now I gotta make a decision, because I know he is going to try and kill me, because Infernape has hair on his head that is on fire, and he wants to make sure that it stays that way, because otherwise he would just be a fighting type. So now out comes my Metagross as fodder, because it does not have a whole lot else it can do at this point. But I am going to try and prevail, as he does not manage to kill me or get the Scald Burn, but he is going to finish me off this turn with his Suicune. And it is going to be something that is a spectacle for everybody to see, as Suicune has its hair gallantly waving behind it when it has a shield above its head, because that is the most logical place to put a shield. You want to protect your brain, and that's what Suicune is doing, because Suicune knows what it's doing. So out comes Nani desu yo! which I apparently named after Reseteer, but who knows entirely. He's going to Ice Beam me, and since Haxorus is such a monstrous monster of a pocket, it is going to live, and it is going to be able to kill this Dewey Kun with another Outrage, despite the fact that most things would die from my bandit Outrage, but hey, who knows. So I'm going to get confused now, because I only get two turn Outrages when I want three turn Outrages, even though I don't think a three turn Outrage would help me too much, but we will see whether or not it would have. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very, very fun and very, very, very exciting. So, out comes the Executor again, and out comes the ability to hit myself in confusion, because that's just how things go with this game. Okay, so, I'm going to hit myself in confusion like, a, like an idiot, and I'm going to get killed by the Executor. So, my nickname totally makes sense now, because it's like, what? That thing should not have... That shouldn't have happened. Why did that happen? So out comes my Terrakion, which, if you ask me, its nickname is proper and means a lot. Because it is true, a lot of times Scissor comes in and then rains on its parade. Anyways, this is going to be how it goes. Out comes a red dragon, which is red and a dragon. And um, it also has a little purple triangle on it because it wants to have the Triforce, but it can't have it. And we all know how much red things like the Triforce. I mean, I don't know of any red things that do like the Triforce, but apparently Latios does. And um, it's going to get a burn from Flame War, but I'm like, well, what? I haven't seen a Psycho Shift set since I started using one in 4th Gen, but whatever. I'm going to kill that thing off because it does not deserve to live, ironically enough. And now Scissor Bait is going to destroy the rest of his team, so to speak. Out comes a Chimeco, which he gets like a million thousand win points. A million thousand, yes. Which is like a couple of hundred billion. Anyways, that is going to be the end of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if I did or not. I don't know if you did or not. But hey, at least I know that I got it narrated and it is now done and over. And I'm going over the time limit of the video because I want to make you guys know that I am appreciative of your watching and everything else, because that's apparently what you're supposed to do these days. So, um, be sure to do stuff.